Hi, and welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday, December 3rd, and we are starting a new month, kind of, with this vlog, and we're starting new readathons, and there are readathons that are only going to be in this vlog because they're only a week long. So, oh shoot, I forgot to look up that one. Okay, so the first readathon that we're doing is uh, the Bookie Trials Winter Quest. Okay, so this one is kind of complicated to like explain, but I want to get rid of that light. But um, okay, we so we did our our Bookie Trials quest. Um, in July, we had a month long readathon and we were looking for the bookie grail. And one of the mini challenges was that we had to, to declare our, our demon, which was kind of like a fancy way of saying your pet. Like you had to pick an animal and name it, whatever. Mine was a, a red panda named Louie. Our demons have been stolen by none other than the evil enchanter of the east ag ag mcclay like it's a nickname i don't remember but i'll put his ugly mug up here <laughs> oh my gosh that's funny um yeah so we have to save our demons that's all right so the point is to complete as many prompts as you can with as few books as you can. Okay, so there's a whole, there's 11, there's 11 prompts. One of them is to buddy read. If you buddy read a book with one person from each team, so there's the mages, the scribes, the bards, and the outlaws. So you have to have like a minimum of one from each team in your buddy read group. <clears throat> And you get an extra point for that, I think. Yeah, it says like double points, but you only get a point for your prompt, each prompt. So, yeah. Um, then there was like a bunch of prompts and I can't remember them all. But one of them was like read by candlelight or one of them was that it had to have like white on the cover. It, it had to have like a morally gray character. Um... There was a whole bunch. There had to have some sort of like an animal or a creature. It had to have, just trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, yeah, like a bunch, there was 11. Um, and so Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff is the next one that I need to read. And it covers, <clears throat> if I buddy read it, 10 out of 11. It, the only thing it doesn't have is uh, one of the prompts was to read something by a marginalized author. And uh, unfortunately for the uses of this readathon, Jay Kristoff is a like straight white male with no disabilities or anything like that. So some people were saying we should count it because that like, he is really tall. <laughs> but I was like, no, guys, like, no, that doesn't, no. <laughs> so 10 out of 11. <clears throat> yeah, and so that's what I'm reading. I am already behind, but Mondays are like my busiest day of the week. I have sparks and we don't get home until late and we're freaking tired. So I read the intro which is kind of like a reminder of everything that's happened so far and I read the first chapter but I was supposed to read the first seven chapters so I'll have to check to make sure but I think I meant to get to the end of at least chapter 14 today so that's what I want to try to do <clears throat> excuse me so I don't really want to be talking to you like for that long I've already been for five minutes here and I have to edit last week's vlog so that I can put it up tomorrow, which that kind of takes a while because my videos are 
freaking long. But, um, yeah, okay, so that's the Bookie Trials. There's also, I have to check. I, I'm not sure if this is like a week readathon or two weeks or a month or what, but Chapter Kate and somebody else are hosting Kaboomathon. And it's like a graphic novel, manga, comic, like readathon. And I still have like a bunch that I need to read. And I still have, um, like I've, some of the ones that I read last month that I wanted to continue the story, I've requested like the volume two from my library. So <clears throat> yeah, like I have a bunch. So, but like, obviously this needs to be the priority. I need to read this by the eighth. Today is the third. Like, it's a thick mofo. So, Dark Dawn is the priority. But if Kaboomathon is the whole month, they have a bingo board, which I only briefly looked at, but I'll print it off. And, yeah, I kind of wanted to do it. So, I might be doing that a little bit. And then also, G, she's doing amazing things. Like, she's doing this, The she always does the owls and the newts, right? For the, and she calls them like the magical readathons. She is doing like a winter one right now, and it is a choose your own adventure. She's done a freaking a whole website for it. So you go on Sunday, chapter chapter one, like opened up, and you could click on it. Then you go and you read and you read the scenario, and it's kind of like the beginning of Chamber of Secrets, and. Like, it's not, she didn't, like, I think she copied some of it from the book, but it's not the whole book. It's just, like, a few paragraphs. And so, basically, you're in your room studying. The Dursleys told you to stay up there. You're hairy, I guess. And um, Dobby pops in. And he starts <laughs> freaking out and making noise and whatever. And he tells you, you need to promise never to go to back to Hogwarts again, right? So then you have to choose and it's like lie to Dobby and tell him you're not going even though like you're obviously going back or um, don't lie to him. Just try to convince him to, I don't know, to leave you alone or to not <laughs> like, what does he do in the movie Dro or in the book? He drops a cake on, on someone's head, right? Um, so I just lie, I mean... I just lied to him, so I picked that I'd lie to him, um, and then he went away, and then what, so then it took you to the next page, and so when I lied to him, I don't know, he went away, and he was happy, and then, did I go to Diagon Alley? I somehow got to Diagon Alley, <laughs> and, uh... It asked me what store I'd go shop at first. And it was either the Quidditch store or Flourish and Blots, which is Flourish and Blots? Bots? It's like the bookstore slash like parchment and ink and things like that. So like, obviously I'd go to the bookstore. <laughs> so that's the one I clicked on. And then it started talking about like Gilderoy Lockhart. You're basically, you're in the bookstore, you've got all your books, uh, but you haven't paid for them yet or whatever, and uh, Gilderoy Lockhart shows up, and you're like, okay, like, who is this guy? And it says, like, well, what would you do? And it mentions something, too, about Malfoy. You see Malfoy, like, um, running out of the shop as Gilderoy, like, pops in. And you had three options that time, and I think I picked... To ignore both of the dumb males and just pay for my books. So, yeah. So then you pay for, yeah, I paid for my books. And then just, like, f uh, find a little corner to read. And, yeah, so I went in and I read. And then, man, I can't remember what it, but then eventually... <laughs> As I explained the freaking whole thing to you. Eventually, uh, I got to my reading prompt, which was because I bought books, right? So it says to read the book that you most recently acquired. Okay? So that was my prompt. Um, so, like, technically, um, in last vlog, I told you that... 
I think I told you that I got asked on, uh, someone sent, DM'd me on Twitter and asked me if I would read their book and like post, like review it or whatever, talk about it on my channel, like whatever I do. And so technically it was that book that would have been my most recent like acquisition. So I have that ebook on my tablet or on my e-reader. Um, so if I need like a break from Dark Dawn, I guess like I'll pick up that one and see how I like that one. So those are the readathons so far. So my plans for tonight, it's already got to be like nine probably. Oh no, 8.15. It's 8.15. Um, I kind of just want to read, but I have to do the dishes and I have to edit that like last week's vlog and set it to exporting and to uploading to YouTube. Then tomorrow I'm planning like a mass filming spree. I'm going to film like four videos is my plan, but... What am I filming? My November wrap up. A tag. A T and next year's TBR and uh oh yeah, like I'm gonna do like best the best readathons of the year. And so the only one that I really have prepared is the TBR one. I chose the tag, what tag I'm doing today though. So I guess I just kind of have to pick what books I'm gonna answer for it, like that won't be hard. But I don't have my November TBR prepared or the best readathons. I have to go back and look at all the readathons that I did and pick which was my favorite one that I did for each month and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do tomorrow. So hopefully I'll still have time to read <clears throat> because it's for me, it's like planning the videos so that I can film them quickly without a lot of umming and awing and without a lot of like looking down at my notes. Like if as long as I know what I'm doing, what I'm going to say, that's like the most important. So I spend a lot of time planning and like writing out exactly what to, what I want to say and like jot notes at least to keep me moving from point to point and like being focused that takes a lot of time so hopefully I can get all four of those videos filmed tomorrow and then I won't have to worry about filming other than vlogging until like the last week of December so so that's my plan for this week my priority is dark dawn Okay, so I will, depending on how much I read, I might check in again later before I go to bed or maybe just see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello vlog. Um, I, uh, it's, uh, um, it's Wednesday, it's like 7 p.m. I've gotten home tonight and tonight is, sorry, my mass, I'm, filming four videos tonight. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I came home, I actually went to the library really quick. Um, I had to take some stuff back and then I got a few things. Should I show you? People do lot library hauls. I'll just tell you, I got a manga that I've been waiting for for a long time from the library. Like I put it on hold in October called our Dawn at dusk, maybe. And it's just like a skinny little, like, volume one. Then I got book two of Death Note. And I got Monstrous volume one. So those are the ones that I picked up. I took back the ones that were overdue. Came home and I ate and I spent some time, like, planning out some of the videos. So I'm just gonna talk to you while I get ready. Um, I just need, I need to put my makeup on. So... I'm just gonna do it while I talk. Um, okay, so last night I read 
up to chapter seven of Dark Dawn and oh my God, like it's good. It's so good. There was a lot of things that were still kind of cliffhangery, like some questions like at the end of God's Grave and a good chunk of them got answered within the first seven chapters of Dark Dawn. And so that was good on one hand, but on the other hand, I felt like at least one of the questions was going to be like a good chunk of the storyline for Dark Dawn. And so now I'm like, hmm, where is this story going? But I don't actually mind it. I actually, even though I am usually pretty good at guessing like what plots are going to be for books, I don't mind not knowing. I would love to be surprised. So, yeah. And, uh, yes. So that's, uh, yeah, seven chapters. So I am behind. But, um, Dark Dawn, uh, the Neverlight Chronicles are a bit of a denser read. So I feel like it takes a bit longer to read them like you get like through less pages per hour type of thing um than you would like just your average book but yeah so I started reading at like 10 o'clock last night and I started at the beginning of chapter two what do I got here I need this and so then I read only six chapters and it was like 10 to 12 so that's like, that's like, um, uh, slower than average for me. Okay. Um, also today at work, I put on Trail of Lightning again and I actually finished that and it's so good. It's, it's a new favorite. I popped over on Goodreads. I saw that the sequel is out and it's going to be either a three or a four book series. Oh shit. This is what happens when I'm talking and not paying attention. I didn't put primer on. Okay. Um, yes. So like it was really good other than uh, being like super gory. It was very gory. But other than that, it was really good. And I am like, I'm excited to see I'm, I want to read the next book and it was out in April so I should be able to find it somewhere um yeah I don't I think I pretty much already told you like it's a uh, you're following this girl Maggie and she is there's been like a big flood and a lot of people died. So this is like a, a dystopian, like futuristic type of thing. And there are like monsters, but there's like magic too. And it's like about na like native people have what they call clan powers. And it's just different powers depending on like which clan you originate from and I mean not everybody has powers but some people do and there's like healing powers and then there's just like weather powers and there's there's all different ones and so it's pretty cool so but there's also like these monsters which are like they can look like a person but they're not really they're not like they'll They'll steal people or kidnap people or kids and like eat them or whatever. And so Maggie is a monster hunter. And uh, at the beginning of the book, the very beginning, and, and it's what they talk about when you read the synopsis. Syn and I hate that word. Synopsis on Goodreads or whatever, um, it talks about like a girl being missing and she has to, you know, get, get the girl back from the monsters. Well, that all happens like in the first couple chapters. 
And so what, what happens is like the monster that she encounters for, with that took the girl is like a different kind of monster than what she's used to. And it's like alarming because he's harder to kill and stuff. Yeah, but it's so good. Five stars. Five stars, five stars. The only thing that like bugged me was the gore. Like it was, I thought it was too gory, but that's just me. When they weren't like in a fight scene, it was fine. <laughs> and one of the main characters has like healing powers where he can heal himself like and other people. So, um, they healed really fast and that helped like the plot move along. They'd be in like, they'd be in a big fight and then they'd be like broken. And then the next morning they were good because he healed them. <laughs> well, not, or not like completely good, but better anyways. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much my reading. Okay, so I think I'm going to let go of this vlog, vlog update and I'm going to go film now. And when I'm done filming, I'm going to read more Dark Dawn. Okay, let's get the glasses back on. There, I'm so beautiful. Okay, ciao. Okay, hi guys. It's um, Thursday night and I'm at home. Um, I have like a dollar rama haul for you. I went in for three things and I filled my cart. It's all Christmassy stuff. It's mostly like stocking stuffers or like craft things or like, you know, for my kids. But I feel like people do those kind of hauls. So I'll show you what I bought as I like talk about um, what I read <coughs> today during the day and I guess I can't really talk too much about Dark Dawn but I did read some of Dark Dawn last night and yeah so I'm just gonna be like cutting off the tags and everything getting them ready for like in the stockings okay. not exciting ziplock there's a ziplock but I was running out a tree skirt. I don't have a tree skirt. It's cute. It says, I believe in Santa and has like gold. Yeah, I just didn't, I didn't have one. Also, my tree is small. It's a very small tree. Um, I am taller than the tree, so. <laughs> and it's really close to the ground, the branches. Like there is no putting presents under my tree. No, the presents go like around the edges of the tree. <laughs> Or beside the tree. So I got a little tree skirt. What's this? Oh yeah, I got a stocking because my sister's going to be here. And I don't have a stocking for her. So I got her stocking. Um, some of this stuff is for her stocking. But I'm going to try not to show it because I don't know if she watches these. So maybe... It's cute and it has skates. <laughs> okay, I bought some magnets for my fridge. I bought a stickers, a lot of stickers. I need the girls to like help me. There's more than that. Oh no, maybe not. I need the girls to help me make Christmas cards that I'm sending out to like some of you people and just giving to some of my family. And so I bought some these stickers are like poofy. I don't know if you can see. They're not flat. So they're really easy for Luna, who is younger. Luna is only three. They're really easy for her to pull, pull them off and do them herself without help. And then I got two sheets of just regular shiny normal stickers. Those aren't for their stockings. Those are for like now, like making the Christmas card. I got myself a new notebook because... <laughs> I realized when I was like video planning the other day that like I only have like three or four more blank pages in the one that I'm using. So I need another one and this one's very soft and it's just a plain lined notebook. 
Yeah. And I thought that was really fitting. Because, like, if you flip through my current notebook, like, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> okay, I got them. So, something you're going to see is, like, the same of everything. Like, my daughters will literally find any reason to fight. So, like, there were different kinds of these. But, like... If I got one of them, this one, and the other one, the frozen one, they will fight over who gets which one. Like, they'd look at theirs, and then they'd look at the others, and one of them, for sure, would want the one the other one had. So, where's the camera? I should be talking to this spot there. Okay. So, I got these. These have a sticker sheet. They have a little activity coloring book and some crayons. I also got these. This marker only works like on these pages. So, and those are like LOL dolls. If you don't have a female child, you might not know what those are. Um, I also got these little wee ornaments. They are frozen and they've had, they have, um, they're filled with candy. We'll just ignore that. They open and they're filled with candy, but they're frozen too. So they have Anna on one side and Elsa on the other side. So we'll just empty that. Um, <clears throat> today I started There There by Tommy Orange. And so far it's really good, but I'm nervous. I feel like it's going to be sad. I feel like bad things are going to happen at this powwow. I'm nervous. I'm 37% in, I think. It's an eight-hour audiobook, and I think I'm three hours in. So, but I'm really liking it. This is for my sister. It's cute. And then, oh, I should cut this stuff off. Okay, I'll cut this stuff off. <clears throat> and then last night, I didn't quite, I think I was... I'm trying to, I'm a, a day behind on the reading for sure, but I think I didn't even read like a full day's worth um, last night. Like the, the very last chapter that I was trying to read and then I just got super tired that it was like 30 pages long. I was like, oh my God. But yeah, she's, they're, they're traveling right now, Mia is, and... They're on the water. They've made some new friends. Um, they're also going to see some old friends. Yeah. You learn something like really disgusting and like shocking about uh, Cardinal Duomo. These are cute. I got one for each of my daughters of so these. There's the other one. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are my two that I'm reading. And has anyone been, have you guys been watching the, um, like the Nevernight little episodes that Pierre Ford made? Because they're really good. There's only three of them. And I haven't been watching like all the behind the scenes stuff. To, like, really understand why they were only able to make, like, three, like, really short episodes. But, um, I think maybe it had something to do with funding or I'm not sure. But they're really good. And so I think right now what they're just wanting to get some exposure. They want people to, like, 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 uh, share, tag, uh tag people from Netflix so that it hopefully gets picked up. Um, these are, oh, I don't know if anyone knows. These are called Hatchimals. They have like a little tiny like animal inside the egg. So I'm going to put one Hatchimal in each stocking. Uh -huh. 
Ooh, now it's more ghetto. Ah! Got it. But I got it. I actually like this because with the with the Hatchimals, they have this, and the kids never play with this thing. It's like a nest for the egg. And they also have, like, this paper, and both my kids insist on keeping all these papers that they get for all their little things that are meant to be, like, collectibles. And all the paper does is, like, show you the 18 million Hatchimals that are available for collecting. And it's like, oh, I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> so I'm throwing it away. That's what's happening right now. All right, I also got some socks. These are for my older daughter. Cut them out. I don't think I really have much to say, so maybe I'll like time lapse this as I just hold things up. Because I really don't have. That's all I read. I just want to finish Dark Dawn. And then after. Uh, after I finish there. There. I need to. Oop, shoot. I need to start. Um, that Christmas one. That I'm reading for Patreon. The Afterlife of. The Afterlife of Somebody. <laughs> It's a Christmas, yeah, I said that already. It's a Christmassy one. And so uh, I need to, and because we're doing a live show, I think December 15th, actually. And I think I'm going to be in the live show this time. I think I will be. Like, I'm invited. I have to do, like, find, I uh, take my kids somewhere so that they're not bothering me because... Lord knows they would absolutely bother me <laughs> if I if I just like was at home and did it. Um, but if I can find someone to take my kids or if I can find someone to come over here while I go out for an hour to do the live show, then I can do the live show. And I'm excited. Okay, these ones are for my younger daughter. You can't really see a puppy on that one and then this one has snowmans am i does everyone think it's too early to do christmas shopping today is december what day is it is it the fifth the second was monday Third, fourth, fifth. Yep. Yeah. Is it too early to like be getting? I'm pretty sure like once I try to put all this stuff in the stocking that the stocking will be full. So the only other thing that I have like for the stocking is on Cyber Monday, I um I went on Amazon to see the price of the LOL dolls. And they were like, they were all, not all of them, some some of them were on sale for five bucks off, which is a big deal. Like, that's a good, that's like, that's awesome. So I bought four, so four, I bought two, each of two different types. And so then that's, I'm going to put those in the stocking too. Uh oh, what happened here? This is really cute. What does it say? Light it up. It's pretty cute. Got some socks. Oops. I don't even know if my sister likes fuzzy socks, but I got her them. Yeah, I guess I'm just showing you everything, even though, yeah, I don't think she watches my videos. One time I asked her if she watched them, because I thought, you know, maybe she'd support me in, because we're family. No, she just, she went, well, 
I mean, I don't really like books that much, so I was like, I guess that's a no. <laughs> Rude. It's okay. No one else is watching them either. I'm like, have. I appreciate the five of you that like the five, 15, it's like 15 people max are like watching these vlogs. So. I appreciate you. I see you. I love you. Feel free to comment. You know, I got Alex commenting. Oh, and I did one up for Alex. I feel bad because she makes lots of videos and like I just don't have time to watch videos. Alex, I don't have time to watch a lot. Like I'm not watching hardly any videos of anyone. But um, when I left work today I was really just feeling appreciation for Alex and how she watches all my videos and she comments on all of them and I turned I turned YouTube on my work computer as I was getting ready to leave and I went to her channel and to her videos and I just hit play all and then you can't hear because the there's earphones in plugged into the computer and then I just shut off the computer screen so it should be playing like through all her videos so that she'll get like lots of watch time so hopefully hopefully maybe the computer shuts off like overnight but I'm not sure this is cool this is kind of um like not a scarf but a scarf you're meant to wear it like here and it's really super fuzzy it's for my sister uh then I got gloves for everyone. So I got these ones for Luna. Cute. They came in a two pack. And I got these ones for Oceana. And I got these ones for my sister. They are like furry. Very feminine. Those are so cute. Hmm. Then I got these. I'm going to put their their Kinder Eggs and the toys are going to be like Christmas Mickey. <clears throat> or like, it's probably like the Fab Five. It's probably like Mickey, 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 Minnie, Donald, Goofy, Pluto. Uh, maybe Daisy. But yeah, so I'll put one in each stocking. But I also bought extras just like to have at the house for little treats, you know. I brought, I got them like these. I don't understand. These are bracelets. They're the same, but they're, I think they're, the bracelets are obviously not exactly the same. They're a little bit different. But I think I am going to just leave these in a package. But this is actually really cute because it's called Rafiki Bracelet. It's a me to we product and um, it says that it's handmade by a woman in Kenya. So it supports the free the children movement and it's probably like free trade. It says in Swahili, the word for a friend is Rafiki. Smile bigger and laugh louder when you wear this Rafiki that celebrates good times and giving back. It gives school supplies to a child in a community overseas, providing them with the knowledge and skills to create a brighter future. Yay. So they're cute. I was just trying to find cute little jewelry or something to put in the stocking. Okay. I also got ponies, tails. So I got the girls the same. Again, it's the same, so they don't fight. It's the same. And then I got my sister a pack. My sister has really thin hair, so she needs like skinnier ones. And then I got one for me, like just to have at the house. And I have really thick hair, so I need the thicker ones. So those are mine. And I got, I needed toothpaste for the children. So I got toothpaste. It's incredible. And it's fruit burst. Yeah. I have one more bag. 
Or maybe I'll just, I'll show you quickly. Okay, these are stickers that can go on the window. And it says you can reuse them, but they're really cheap and lots of times they rip and stuff. So like I just buy new ones every year. They're real, they are cheap, like $1.25 per page of stickers. So it's not really that big of a deal. Then I bought these like little canvases. I bought six of them so that my kids can like paint little pictures for relatives or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We just run out of them. So I got some more. I thought maybe they could do that like for Christmas gifts. I found these little toy sets. Well, I think I'm going to take out of the package and put in their stockings. And like one's a set of cats and one's a set of bunnies. There was also dogs, but I liked cats and bunnies better. And I'm probably going to regret not getting them the same one. Just saying. Mad about it. Probably should have got them a dog ones. I got this. We need this at work to hang up wreath from the door um so i bought it then i bought this because children love stickers so i'm going to take them out and i'm going to put some in each one then the entire reason that i went to the dollar store i need a new shower curtain and look what all i bought i spent like $140. And one thing, one more thing. Oh, oh, this for my sister's stocking. It's a bubble bath. Oh, yeah, I got this cute little mat for like at the front door. There's like this one section of space that we like. We don't put boots on because like they're wet, but then the mat is not big enough to cover that area. So I'm going to put this there. My kids are going to love it. Okay. All right. That's all for my dollar store. Dollarama. Dollarama. Yeah. My Dollarama haul. Thanks for watching. I'll probably time lapse it so you don't have to sit through that 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, tonight I got to read more Dark Dawn. Got to do laundry. I got to edit the November, my November wrap up because I want it to go up tomorrow. We'll see if that actually happens though. Okay, that's all for now. Bye. Hi vlog. Um, I am driving home from work. I am on my way. I'm gonna pick up my ex and my kids. And we're going to my grandma's house to either bake cookies or put up the tree or maybe both. Um, at work today I read a little bit more of There There by Tommy Orange. Um, it's really good. I, yeah, I'm really liking it so much. We're seeing like, there's all these different characters and they're all, um, I mean not all of them, but most of them are like connected to each other in some way. So. It's like you'll have like a couple chapters following this one kid and then like the next chapter will be following like his dad and then you know like but his dad is like not with him and yeah so it's kind of cool. There's lots of representation. There's like addiction representation. There's plus size representation. Um, uh, like all of the characters are native or most of them but like you have a wide variety like you have this one guy who's like university educated and he's an artist and he has this big idea to um film native people like telling their stories what is going on this traffic is insane um and yeah so like that's what he's doing so like some of these people are like some of the characters are eventually interact with him and because he videos them like telling telling stories to the camera and stuff like that and yeah it's hitting a lot of really important topics um so yeah so um for this weekend so tonight i'm going to my grandma's place and then 
tomorrow I'm supposed to go to my mom's. And then Sunday afternoon, Oceana and I have a Sparks event that is, um, it's like a princess party. And it's the afternoon. I have to be there like at 1230 and I probably won't be done until like 430. So I'm actually <laughs> a smidge concerned about getting Dark Dawn done uh, for Monday. Like, for the bookie trials readathon that I'm doing, I need to finish Dark Dawn by Monday night. Uh, Monday at midnight, my time. And I have over 300 pages. And, and I, I, it's not sounding like I have a lot of free time this weekend. So, it's just a smidge concerning. I would really, really want to finish it. Um, but, I mean, hopefully, hopefully I can... But yeah, I do have like a busy weekend. I have a lot of stuff to do. Oh gosh. Sorry, you couldn't even see my face there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm almost here where I need to be to pick up my children. Okay, bye bye. Hi, vlog. Um, it's Monday night. It's like 9 30, I think. Um, I don't remember the last time that I updated you, but basically I'm just reading Dark Dawn. Um, I'm reading it for, it was what I picked for like the Bookie Trials Winter Quest. <laughs> so I had a thing happen last night where like for some reason I thought that the Winter Quest was not over until today. But yesterday at like 11 p.m. I realized like no like it's the 8th now so that means it's over in like an hour and I was nowhere near to being finished it. <clears throat> and so I kept reading and I kept reading and I kept reading it was like 1 30 in the morning but I still had like a lot of pages like I had like 170 pages still and so there was no way like I needed to go to sleep and um then I was like on Twitter for a little bit and I noticed that someone someone posted something funny about like how like sorry little demon like I didn't save you because they didn't finish their book either so I like commented basically about how I didn't realize that it was the last day until 11 p.m. on the last day so there was like no hope and I was like R.I.P. Louie Louis is my demon. <laughs> and then, like, was it, like, a few hours later or, like, the next morning, like, I don't know, like, Rachel posted and she just basically decided to give everyone another day. And I was like, ah, well, like, I mean, don't do that just for me. Like, I hope it was, like, a whole bunch of people that were did not save their demons <laughs> but maybe people were just confused because usually readathons are like a week long and so she was doing the second to the eighth so two three four five six seven eight that's only no that should be seven days why'd you give us an extra day then i don't know anyways um uh... <laughs> she posted that she's extending it so yeah um luna my daughter has been so sick like all weekend um like diarrhea i don't know i was thinking that she maybe is like developing some sort of like lactose problem but so yeah so we were up in the night um changing sheets and everything so I let her sleep in this morning and then we went to the doctor and he said he thinks it's just like a stomach bug um so I don't know but anyways there was like some um sitting around in waiting rooms and things like that so I read some more and then basically if she is up in the night again um with the run still I am uh, keeping her home tomorrow again and I'm not going to work tomorrow again so 
But yeah, um, so I've been doing some reading throughout the day and I have less than 100 pages to go. I think it goes to about 475 or 480 and I am on 395 so shit's about to get intense um like it's really it's really good they've introduced like and like it's a new storyline that you kind of weren't expecting she's I mean she's still on her like vengeance vendetta so there is that and that's still there um underlying that's still her like ultimate goal is to kill the people that were involved in like the murder of her family when she was young but okay let's see let's count okay mercurio ashlyn trick mia jonan then there is Sid, Blade Slinger, Wave Walker, Butcher, and Bryn. So at the beginning of the book, we started out with 10. <laughs> okay, by the 200 page mark, we had lost two. And now I am nearing the 400 page mark. And there are six left, but one was kidnapped. So, yes, yeah, so we've had. Oh, no, and then if you want to count. Yeah, sorry, I guess. So, 12. 12 in total at the beginning. Characters that we care about. 12 characters that we care about. <laughs> when we started off this book <laughs> um and with a hun with less than 100 pages left at the 400 page mark we only have six okay, okay seven that are still alive but one's been kidnapped and the other and another's whereabouts are unknown <laughs> so I have a feeling this is going to just destroy me. I mean, we all know that she dies in the end. We all know that she dies. But how? I'm not ready. And I don't know if I want to, like, film myself reading it either. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm just going to go read it. I was think I feel like... Oh, yeah. I was going to show you this. I got Bookish Mail. This is a wooden bookmark and it smells really good. Mm. Um, so these are made by Justin at Triumphal Reads. He has an Etsy shop. I'll link it down below. But I did not buy this for myself. I believe that this came from Rachel. Rachel Marie. I believe it's like... It might be my Patreon like sign-up gift. Or it might be my Christmas gift. I'm not sure. I didn't message her yet to tell her that I got it. I should probably... Oh my gosh. I should probably do that. Yeah, so he designed bookmarks to go with her teams for the bookie trials. But he does other designs too. And these are really cool. It's like burned into the wood. Yep. Okay, that's enough for this update. So I am going to read. And then maybe I'll just throw in, you know, some footage of me sobbing <laughs> after I finish the book. <laughs> uh, you know, as you do. When I was reading one particular character, what death, that was like super, super intense today. And like out in public when you're with a toddler like she was being like Luna was being good but she was being distracting and like 
I shouldn't have done that but at the same time like I want to finish the book so I like I wanted to read get some pages read I because I knew I was going to be sitting in waiting rooms but like yeah so that death like what should have been like really impactful and I definitely should have been like sobbing when it happened um I wasn't and I it's just totally like it was like I was hurt I was rushing to like finish the page but yeah um I'm definitely gonna be by myself in my bed <laughs> reading this part this last part here so okay see you when I when I finish it I guess <laughs> bye Hey guys, just um, popping in to wrap up this vlog. I did finish Dark Dawn on Monday night and it was not the ending that I was expecting. That's for sure. Uh, can't really say much, but there was a lot of death and destruction just in general, you know? Um, I didn't cry um, because even though I was reading at night, I thought that I wouldn't you know get interrupted but my phone was just like going off like crazy so I did get interrupted a lot so there's that um yeah I did I, there was no like emotional crying to be recorded so <laughs> um yeah and then I was just tired and yesterday was a day and um now it's Wednesday and I'm just filming this short clip to wrap up the vlog that was supposed to end on Monday night so that I can edit it and post it. That's all. <laughs> okay, so um, next week, I'm starting next week with reading, I'm going to read this one. I'm going to read this one. I'm going to read this one. And... Excuse me. And on audiobook, I am going to finish There There by Tommy Orange. And then I'm going to start The Afterlife of Holly Chase. And that's what you can look forward to watching next week. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good week. Bye-bye.